historical sites are locations where a country's community or people cultural, social, political, and military history is preserved. The things are mostly preserved for their cultural heritage value, which in most cases is irreversible once lost. To effectively preserve the information for the future generations, historical sites in most countries are normally protected by law. The sites are normally open for visits. People coming living with a wealth of information about the history of the place and an awesome feeling of reliving the past in the present. Good day, this is Miguel Texano Balen and I'm here in front of you to make a vlog about uh, Berto Mosimosi. What's that? Roman Catholic Chapel! Did you know? This chapel has stood up for more than 50 years. If you have observed the brown and long vertical rectangles on both sides of the chapel's facade, there are where imprints of names of donors and amount of money donated who contributed largely to the successful construction of the chapel, which includes our grandfathers of our clan. Why this holy site? It is not only in compasses the truth about that is one of the oldest chapel, but it is because also it constitutes the significant history between Purok 1, Santa Barbara, and Barangay Central Balibagan. It was told by our grandfather Maximo Dodong Obalde, one of the oldest living citizens in Baliwagan. The conflict that was a long time ago, a beauty pageant has occurred to celebrate the town's foundation. The press told that whoever wins, that lady's town will be the center of any festive celebration. Eventually, a lady candidate from Santa Barbara had won. This led to a frustrated and jealous uproar of the Central Baliwagan's townspeople. The chairman at the time had signed a resolution stating that it will be held in Central Baliwagan so that no more series of arguments will happen in the future. The Santa Barbara's townspeople eventually had become quiet and just not went with it. They cannot argue anymore with the chairman's order. That one is one of the very interesting historical episodes in our place. Christianity has endured longer than the greatest empires and had more influence than the greatest cultural achievements. Its sex is still shaped lives and many of its institutions still function. The conclusion shows that a major reason for the success is the religion's variety and potential for adoption, the encounters and divergence between church, biblical, and mystical Christianity are one aspect of Christian history, their interrelations with various social contexts the other. What have you gained in this subject, GE2, Readings in the Philippine History? So, the lessons that I've learned in this subject is that it enables me to develop an understanding of the world. I've learned to analyze others' background and main arguments, compare different point of views, identify bases, and examine evidence presented in the document. It helps me to become versatile, articulate, broad-minded, morally upright, and socially responsible citizens. In short, this subject taught me to analyze Philippine history from multiple perspectives through the lens of selected primary and secondary sources coming from various disciplines and different genres. So, number two, if I will be given a chance to describe our country Philippines to blind man, 
how would I describe it? Well, I will describe Philippines to a blind man as a wonderful country where dreams and hopes are abundant. I will also tell tell that Philippines is the place where historical events happen and it is the place where the people are kind and a country that is filled with positive energy around and full of hospitable persons. So, number three, what can you say about my instructors, Mr. Amel? So, what did I learn something from him? So, even if, even if it is just only a module, I have learned a lot from my instructor, especially in how to evaluate primary, secondary, and tertiary sources on a different kinds of writings. And I also learned on how to write an analysis of text, make a comparative analysis of primary and secondary sources. Those are the most of the things that I have learned about him. On the other hand, I also learned from him on how to respect one another and to have a good moral values, especially in the times of the pandemic. In short, the learnings that I have from my sector immersible one. That's it. So once again, I am Miguel Tixono Baldi. Thank you for watching my vlog and that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.